you came up with this idea. It has become a global phenomenon now. You've got letters getting to the, the, the elf on the shelf. You've got, you know, a, many, many projects coming out of this. Explain to us, did you ever think this would catch on the way it has? Well, I grew up with this tradition. When I was a little girl, Santa used to send an elf to our home, and the elf used to watch and listen and report to Santa. And I have a twin sister and a younger brother, and I assure you, he had plenty to say. <laughs> so um, when I became an adult, I wanted an elf, you know, to talk to Santa for my own children. And so my mom and I wrote this book together based on our own family tradition. Of course, we had to get permission from Santa Claus. Um, but it really is it's one of those special family things that the entire family can participate in. Uh, it's a family moment. There's rules, aren't there? There, there are, are rules. There are. You know, Santa, the elves are busy working right. when Santa sends them to your house. So there are a few rules. You can't touch your elf or his magic might go. Mm -hmm. So it's a very important rule, especially once the elf has a name. That's how he gets Christmas magic and comes to life. You, um, the elf also speak, cannot speak to children because he's busy working. You know, mm -hmm. I'm sure he would love to play, mm -hmm. uh, but he can't. He's busy working. So those are really the only two rules. And then, then families adopt the elf and integrate him into their Christmas house. Holiday well, the, the other rule is being naughty and uh, <laughs> he's going to dob you in, as we say in yeah. Australia. Yeah. So, so the idea is really is to, to influence kids' behavior, to, to teach them what's naughty, what's nice by, by pointing out bad behavior, good behavior that the elf is that the elf is doing, yes? Yeah, I'm so glad that you said that because it, the, it's fun for families and it's a hide and seek game for children, yeah. but it, it also really is a way for them to exercise self-control. And I think that's important. You know, the idea that Santa is watching goes back for decades. And now we know how he's watching. He's watching because the elf on the shelf sends their little elf from the North Pole. But it's important that people understand how much children love these elves. You name it, you adopt it into your family. You can register your elf's name on our website. And you get a letter from Santa. So it, it is something that's really special and unique to families all around the world. He, 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 there's one in my house. Uh, <laughs> and, and does have a, a positive impact as well. Good. I mean, are you interested in some of the some of the um, well, let's say things he gets up to uh, online? <laughs> Naughty and nice. <laughs> Naughty adults, and adults nice. have him doing all He's kinds adventurous. of things. Naughty and nice. Yeah, you know, I tell people all the time that elves mm. match the personality of their family, <laughs> but clearly our intent is to create meaningful family moments, mm. and this really is about children spending time with their siblings and their family, and uh, just getting a chance to talk to each other, 